We have a new Legends update. Let's check it out. Yo, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Flam. Welcome everyone back to a brand new video to the channel. Now, today, guys, we have our first official big update for Pokemon Legends Arceus. The game's been out for like a week, week and a half right now. I'm still enjoying the game 100%. I have even yet to beat the main story of the game. I've just been trying to and having a good time. But here today, though, at least you're clicking on this video, we have a first official big update for the game. And a lot of people have been wondering what is the total fix for this game? What's happening? And here, I'm going to show you it on Twitter. So let's jump on. On there now we are here on twitter and this is by pokemon it says attention trainers a new software update version 1.0.2 is available for pokemon legends rcs the update contains content that will improve your overall gameplay experience details at the pokemon site right there so when we go to nintendo support it basically just shows like how to update it blah 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 you guys already know about that news but the issue in the contents of this is version 1.0.2 released on february 8th which is weird february 8th it was more of february 9th on that i don't know if they got that wrong but either way so first things first on the issue and the fixes right here it says fix an issue where while offline the screen could freeze after trying to pick up a lost satchel by throwing out a, po uh, a ball that contains a pokeball so for example like let's just say like you have iron or like a sky kind of uh break thing that you could go like throughout the map if you're like in the wastelands or field lines whatever it may be you throw your pokeball out for them to destroy it for you to get the contents of the the set rock and you try to pick up a satchel it wouldn't work for you i never really tried this usually every single time i see like like two rocks close to each other i always use like the exact same pokemon and don't even switch my other pokemon to grab two of them at once so never really had that before but it's good that they fix an overall issue on that one where if you're trying to get stuff multiple times it just wouldn't work or your screen would freeze for you so that's a little good fix on that one this one a lot of my viewers said they had problems with and it's funny to this one right here because i have actually yet to find a charm in my game and especially even one of the first side quests you get from the game is actually trying to get a research 10 on a cherim but it says fix an issue that sometimes made it difficult to catch cherim so basically what this implies is that if you find like the sun version of cherim you couldn't catch it whatsoever so like the only like actual like catch rate for this pokemon would be to get the midnight one of course like during the dark or midnight hours within the game and you can capture the sun one so that's probably like one of the best updates uh for them to fix right there and i'm kind of glad at least that i updated this here now so if i actually find a cherim and especially uh, if it's in the daytime for me i can capture it and not have an issue so that's wonderful news on that one uh third issue it says fix an issue where a certain event would not occur during a particular mission preventing the scenario from proceeding as intended now this one's kind of weird because it's like i don't understand why they just don't put like the mission title in this issue like it's understandable that maybe it could contain spoilers because some of them do have that like for example like a huge one like the manaphy one within the game uh but it's like if you're trying to help people out and they're trying to read the news wouldn't you want to have the title or whatever one it is so that if people found it and they had this glitch it'd be weird but this is like typical for like rpg games and stuff like that and even for me i've always had this bother some if it's like a main mission or a side mission you're kind of doing it and sometimes like you need to talk to this person to complete the mission and like they're not even there in the first place even if you try to like resetting the game or stuff like that it wouldn't work it's always an annoyance so it's good for them to fix this it just like i said it's kind of vague because we don't really know what mission it is but at least now if you're doing like a side mission whatever it may be you'll be fully completed uh after updating the game from this one so that's good news on this uh i never had this issue as well i to even my twitch chat i never even heard them say this here before but it says fix an issue where players could obtain a certain pokemon twice instead of uh once as only intended prohibiting the player from obtaining other certain pokemon the relevant Pokemon will appear for players who are unable to catch those Pokemon due to this issue. So stuff that I heard, especially on Twitter and stuff like that, is like, let's say, for example, like the Lake Guardians, or if you're trying to catch like Thunderous, Tornadus, or Landorus, whatever it may be. It's like, say, for example, you caught a Landorus, it could spawn for you again, and you could try going for it again to have two. But let's say if you go to a Thunderous now, or whatever it may be, it wouldn't appear for you right there because the game's coins like, oh, you kind of caught it, but you didn't. And instead you have like two Landorus in your actual 
PC or your actual team. So this is a, another huge issue. Uh, like I said, I haven't even gotten that far in the game. I've even yet to beat the story of the post game. Uh, even to some people that I talked to on Twitter or my Twitch chat, they never really had this issue. Or I didn't really brought up to my attention. But yeah, overall, I think this is definitely a good gameplay experience right here. Like it does fix a lot of issues, especially for the first week or second week of the game being out. So give them a round of applause for that one. So the only thing now uh, for like at least an update and to provide more gameplay experience is probably going to be, I would say, at the end of February to probably version 1.0.3 because, well, I'm thinking Pokemon Day will probably get implemented into Pokemon Home for Arceus and for BSP. The long awaited update that we've been asking for a long time, I'm thinking will happen on Pokemon Day right there. But at least for now, we have version 1.0.2. So I hope this clarified you guys in the updates for updating your game for Pokemon Legends Arceus. Yeah, that's the news and information right there. If you guys enjoyed, make sure, of course, to leave a like comment down below subscribe to the channel that'd be greatly appreciated but yeah i would say probably february 25th we'll probably get like another update to this game here or there i think it provided good information and sources to help the game out more and yeah if you guys want to see more news and more stuff here for legends Arceus, i stream on my twitch channel every single day capturing shiny pokemon and even today after i'm done recording this i'll probably finish the main story and the post game and all that stuff and join the club right there and eventually work for the shine and charm but much love guys i'll provide you of course more news and information for legends artists here soon for the channel but much love have yourselves a wonderful day and thank you guys so much for watching the video